welcome my friends to the Chicago Record Review. Here we will be showcasing and highlighting some of the best that dance music has to offer from all around the world. Coming to you live from the south side of Chicago with your host, Mark Hussein and Tetron Mack. With occasional special guests and interviews. Sit back, relax, listen, and enjoy the Chicago Record Review. What's up, y'all? This your boy, Mark Grusain. And your boy, Ted Drawn Map. You tuned in to the Record the Review. The Record Review. The Record Review. Where you're going to be showcased all the hot jams and all the coldest, coldest music that your ears can take like to welcome you to our first episode, our first official episode. So uh, you sit back and relax. Enjoy. Enjoy the show. Here we go. Hey, what's up, y'all? This next record I'm about to play is called Slay Ride by Slink. It's on a compilation called Digging Disco Deep. Check it out. Some killer stuff now, dude. I'm hearing it. I'm hearing it, man. Yeah. It's just like combination of like internet, computers, and, and see, uh, you know, the way that these cats putting this music together now, man. It's just, how can you not like it? You know, it's, it's you know, it's funny. It's like it's a whole talent. Like even knowing how to work the equipment. Like it's like even like. Obviously, I respect musicians a lot. People that play fluently. Oh, yeah. Oh, the live sound. But, man, there's so much stuff out here. I mean, honestly, just the intuitiveness of knowing how to work the equipment and the sense, yeah, too. Yeah, man, you yeah. Know. I mean, uh, you know, yeah. it's just, I've been around boards. Me and you've been around boards right, right, right. together. And, I mean, just, just watch somebody actually working it. It's like, damn, how the hell you know how to <laughs> right. how the hell you, how can you do this? I mean, how can you remember it? Do this, do that. What sound is this? What sound is that? I mean, I guess it's just like you say, it's a talent. It takes a talent in itself. Yeah, man. No it's doubt. like I remember I hear somebody trip on somebody that was making like tracks in a sense, but if you actually looked at what he was doing, it was like right, right, totally like involved. Like you have to literally study that software and know what you're doing you know to what know you, how yeah, to work yeah, it. Yeah, really, you know. yeah. I mean, nowadays that's all. You, I mean, you know, back then. 60s, 70s, even before then, I mean, they had musicians. They didn't know how to, they didn't have equipment to work. All this shit was analog. Yeah, you yeah, know, yeah. It was all analog. All this now digital stuff, man, it's, 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 it's very user friendly. Yeah, know? man, yeah. But I mean, I'm, my dumb ass, I can't, <laughs> you know, it's it's like this. I, 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 I ain't gonna be able to figure this shit out, man. You know, I have to take, I have to go to college over I, again. I'll tell you what, I wish I could, I'm a, I'm a beginner to a novice probably. And I wish I stuck with piano when I was a kid, and I wish I could get out of my head what's actually in there that I would like to make, you know what I mean? I That's the difference when you learn how to use some of the stuff. It's like uh, you might not know exactly how to play fluently, but if you know sound, then you know how to work notes right, and stuff. Right, you can make right. some nice stuff, man, you know? Right, right, yeah. But like, I mean, it's a know. lot of, you know, there's a lot of cats out here. These are, man, this record, these are musicians here. Yeah, 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 yeah. But uh, man, we're not peeking this mixer, are we? Man, this mixer, man. This beat up ass mixer, man. <laughs> How the hell are we doing a show with this beat up ass mixer? <laughs> Y'all tripping on our mixer. That's what we want to trip on our mixer. They gonna be mixing. Yeah, this mixer bus. Man, they gonna be laughing like a motherfucker. <laughs> but you know what? This motherfucker mixer been through a flood, a fire. 
And he bangs some banging ass parts. Man, I know, and I, be, I, I, bet, I bet to him. This makes it been through hell and oh, high water, man. but we had good times. Yes, sir. We call it the 1920 <laughs> year. <laughs> yeah, right, right. <laughs> right, right, right. right. Hey, man, I'm, I, I'm, I'm down with it. You know, they listen to it. You know, they can hear this shit, and hey, it sound good. It's the record review. The record review, y'all. Let's let them listen to this groove. It's grooving. Yeah. It's grooving. I want to hear this motherfucker right there. That 45. Oh, that's coming. That's what I want to hear. It's coming. I want to hear. That's courtesy of one of our sponsors and my home my home label. Sounds familiar. Ornella, peace. Peace, peace. Shout out Baja. Shout out Baja. Soul in the hole. Sponsors. Soul in the hole. All right, y'all. Yes, sir. We got the duo going today. Dilla Dillards. The skillet to the Dillard. Skillet to the Miller to the Dillard to the Dillard to the Killer. <laughs> to know, the Millennium Right. <laughs> the, <laughs> right. Yeah, I don't think we letting them hear this record. Mm-hmm. They hear it. <laughs> Look at this. Shout out to UK. Prime yeah, Direct Distribution. Oh, just, okay. That's the UK. That's distribution. UK. Prime yeah. Direct. Nice yeah, record, yeah. John. There we go. Yeah. Big and Disco Deep. Yeah. The record review, y'all. Record review. Good music for good ears. The best music. Definitely bang material. It's club sound. Yes. Club yes. sound. Yes. Yes. Yeah. Put it in the right room. Yeah. Ooh. Yeah. yeah. Definitely. <laughs> <laughs> right. That's what we're doing, y'all. Record review. The record review, y'all. Support. Listen. Enjoy. Episode officially one. One. First one. It's cool, man. Okay, y'all, we're gonna get into some Patrice Scott. It's on the uh twelve inch people of the people of Earth. This is the A side. Dude, this is one that I've just been smashing. Like, this record, dude. Like, something about it. I'm looking at the label. Yeah. I've seen something on that label that was bang. I can't remember what it was. Man. It was something on this label that was just, oh, my God. This I'm, is. I'm, I'm wondering if this is it. Dude, this is just a mean beat. Like, a mean beat, dude. Yeah. Like, this is a here mean we go. beat, yeah. dude. I've been rocking. I just rocked it. Uh, so make sure I can check out online and saw. Uh, it's called What's Your Name on SoundCloud. Mark your same mix. So this is a favorite. Like, I rock this everywhere. Like, uh, if it's I, on one of your mixes, I know it's Dude, the last two I played this record probably in every Oh, yeah. Dude. Yes, yes, yes. <laughs> I'm, I'm up. I'm up. Yeah, I heard you. You rock yeah. this. I heard you rock this. It's, it's a simple, mean groove. It's like a head nodder. It's like a move, you know? Yeah. Yeah. Y'all, y'all get into that. They coming from all angles on here. I hear it. What they call moody, it's a moody record, you know. Real moody. It's 
So this is when I like look probably into Patricia Scott, Detroit guy. Oh yeah, talented. He, yeah, been out here a minute, okay. a long time from the '80s, man. You know, so much music out here. You, you know, you never know everything at one time. But man, big up, Patrice. But how long is this? I don't know. Maybe six minutes. Maybe five minutes. Really? Does it look like it's a full? Yeah, it's all one A side. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. This one's relatively new too. This is uh, this is I think 90, maybe a month old at the most, maybe about a month. Yeah. Like so, in like in December. Yeah. November, yeah. December. Yeah. The record review, y'all. Get up. All of these new songs, new cuts, and making. I like the instrumentals better. You know what? I've always been an instrumentalist. Like the vocals, they can keep. I like vocals, but but I fall more into the music when it's just instrumental. Right. I mean, you know? yeah, I mean, because you can feel it more. The vocals be trying to take you somewhere else. You know, the holler and the scream. Well, you I mean, it's you know, a time, it's a time and place for a vocal. Right. You know, but like, like it, you know, it just depends, depends on the mood and, and the setting too. You know, right. obviously you can't crash all vocals, but you right. know, but well, I mean, it, yeah. I mean, because everybody that's on records doing vocals can't sing. Yeah. You dig what uh, I'm saying? Yeah. I mean, it's a lot of, a lot yeah. of. That's what that's what turned me away from this type of groove. You know. When it first started getting real popular, you know what I like, like the old school, like 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 when they do, a, like if they have a vocal, you you have a dub or an instrumental. Yes, yes. Like, like a, John Roker, to remember, me, right, John yeah, Roker, yeah, yeah. Uh, the Freeze. Remember they right. had the dub. And depending on what was going on, you played the dub, you right. played the instrumental, right. Right. you played the vocal. Right. You know? right. right, right. This is a record I wouldn't even want a vocal for. You don't need one. For right. It. You don't even need one for it. Dude. You just you fall into it. You know. Man, I mean, it's, the music could take you there. You dig what yeah. I'm saying? Uh oh. I hate it so much, I think I put a scratch I, in I it. I heard that. <laughs> hey, keep it moving, though. Right. I should be talking, it's but a I'm straight not. groove, dude. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> uh, big goes Patrice Scott. Yeah, yeah. What's up? I'll definitely go through your catalog, man. Me too. <laughs> mm-hmm. I guess I'll drink up a little water. Hey, go for it. Water does the body good. All the time. I'm doing uh the saw Kool Aid you made. What's the sour apple? Is good. Yeah, too. the sour apple fire. Yeah. Man. I got you know. I'm trying to get away from all that, man. Yeah, I'm giving my body a break too, yeah, man. Yeah. You know? Can't party all the time. No, you know? no. But right now it's party time. Hey, party time on these records. <laughs> party time on the records. <laughs> man, you know what we forgot to do. We got a lot of sponsors to get a word in. Oh, yeah. Yeah, no so, doubt. No doubt. So, uh, you guys, you're listening to the record review. The record review, y'all. It's your boy, Mark Grusain. Your boy, Ted John, man. And we're going to let our sponsors get a word in, and we'll be right back. Peace, peace. What up, y'all? This is Trent from the Soul and the Whole DJ crew out of Chicago. Order your Soul and the Whole merchandise now. We have T-shirts, hats, and more. We have all sizes from infant 
the 6X. You can find us on Facebook and Instagram on the Soul in the Hole merchandise. Or you can reach us at 773 744 7311. We have t shirts, hats, and more. We have all sizes. Infant 6X. You can find us on Facebook and Instagram on the Soul in the Hole merchandise. Or you can reach us at 773 744 7311. Call or text. Peace. For information on advertising or having your music considered for an upcoming episode, email us at chicagorecordreview at yahoo.com. The next cut we're about to play is on the street music label. Um, my friend, Rahan, our friend, Rahan, our brother. Absolutely. Um, the name of the song is called Emotion by Saucy Lady. Check it out. Let's get into this groove. Proper jazz funk in there, huh? Yeah, it's real funky right now. Yeah. I like it. Yeah, he's been putting some good stuff on that. Rahan's label is street music. It's the imprint. Yeah, I mean, yeah. yeah man. Everything I've heard on the label so far is just uh, yeah. immaculate. It's sound like this you know? Very immaculate. It's a good air, man. It's been in the studio. He loves the studio. Yeah, uh, oh, yeah. He got the perfect lab. Yeah, networking with good people. Yeah, you know, yeah. Saucy Lady and Yuki. What's up, y'all? Hey, y'all. Peace to y'all. You know, they tally knit in the circle we're talking about. Oh, yes. Yeah. Oh, yeah. So, oh, yeah. Oh, excellent, yeah. excellent, excellent artist. You know? Oh, yeah. So, Rahan, he did a... He did a wonderful thing by putting this stuff on his label. Yeah, yeah. I mean, I mean Ryan, he, he knows good talent when he hears yeah, it. Hey. When he when he hears the talent, he, I mean, hey. we hey. both we both work with Ryan, so we know. Right, right, right. We both know. Absolutely. Yeah. So y'all check this groove, man. It's a bad you know? groove right here. It's a bad groove. <laughs> hey, Skillet, this tune about to make me dance. They don't want to see me dance, though, do they? Man, I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> I don't want to see you there. Oh, hell no. Oh, i tell you what, though. That's how people know I'm having fun. If you see me dancing, you know Marcus yeah. having some fun. Yeah, 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 that's like me. I usually be, <laughs> hey, I usually, hey, what they used to call it, a wallflower? That's, that used to be me back in the day, you know? And what they used to say, I was too cute to dance. I dance, but a lot of motherfuckers don't see me dance, you know? I gotta really be feeling the groove, and I feel this one. I would dance to this, y'all. Yeah, man. Yeah. That's a moment. I would, I would jack. I would jack. <laughs> y'all look forward. Rahan got some projects coming up. Oh yeah, we oh yeah. Down with him uh, a couple weeks ago. Oh uh, yeah. He got some interesting surprises coming, so y'all, y'all get ready for that. Yeah, they, they gonna uh, see. Yeah. They'll see. Skillet, Rahan. Big piece to Saucy Lady and Yuki. Got the pleasure of kicking it with them when in the Strahans and even around Chicago, man. Uh, I think they're from the East Coast. Okay. East Coast. I remember, uh, I, I remember when, they, when y'all I don't was know over, if was over there. I wasn't over there. Yeah, y'all, wasn't you over there. you called me when y'all yeah, was over there. I, was, yeah. I don't know what I was doing. When you called me, y'all told me you was over there. And I, I couldn't make it. Yeah, I sat in. I got to sit down on a session, man. And, uh. Really, again, again, he did a good thing with that man. Yeah, you know, it was yeah. pretty good. Yeah. yeah. I mean, just listen at this. This, this tightness. Yeah, this tightness. So this is a, this is a, it's a, this is a three track. Yeah. So again, yeah. like you say, again, that's how you do it. You got the original, instrumental, mm-hmm. and then you got an alternate version on the flip. The so. What they used to call the dub. Right. right. So you got every flavor. You got every flavor. You know. Right. So y'all enjoy. I guess I'll drink me some water. Well, I'm still drinking on this uh, sour apple Kool-Aid. The Kool-Aid, fly, ain't it? Cheers, cheers. Cheers, Absolutely. cheers. Hey, just water, I think y'all. Ted, I think y'all, Ted is the king of Kool-Aid. Like, seriously. Don't say that. <laughs> motherfuckers be trying to come over. T- talking Ted, about I'm the Kool-Aid, Kool-Aid. man. <laughs> it is. It's hot, man. 
This is real hot. It's a groover. It's a groover, body mover, whatever you want to call it. Body mover, weight loser. Yes. yes. <laughs> there you go. There you go. There you go, skillet. Skillet, skillet, skillet. All right, child, we get into, man, Trevor Jackson. From the Playgroup compilation, this is uh, record number four. He's been on my radar now for the last two months, but he's been around a long time, man. Had okay. a brief conversation with him, man. Oh, shit. And uh, when I was in London, I was at uh, NTS Radio, my man Charlie Bones. Peace, bro. Right, I mean, uh, that's yeah, when you yeah, did the radio. Man. When yeah. you did them for my birthday last year. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah, yeah. Okay. But, uh, I, I wasn't really hip to Trevor Jackson, but now I've been like on the radar, and Charlie was telling me a lot, you know, and uh, his music's really good, man. It's like right up my alley, so okay. this is one I've been rocking a lot, too. I'm feeling and, it. Uh, I'm hearing it. I'm seeing it. Yeah, this is on the Playgroup compilation. I mean, the Playgroup, uh, well, what it is, it's a series of, like, records he put out, and if you have all the covers, it actually makes a big picture. Right. But it's a lot of, like, unreleased relics and stuff like that he's done. And uh, this one's called What's Happening. This kind of remind me of the Stephanie Mills Put Your Body In It. Yeah, it's got that bass line, yeah, but it's totally yeah. like cosmic man. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You know, labels Yes Wave Records, y'all. Yes Wave Records. This is uh, Trevor Jackson's uh, um, a lot of, like, unreleased stuff he's putting out. It's like a uh, project he's been putting out, like, just releasing a lot of stuff in the last month or two. So... You guys check this groove out. It's another nada. The record review, y'all. The record review. The record review. The record review. We like sound. This this is one I've been pumping too. We got that seventy mils on. I mean, to me, I mean, I'm preserve the baseline. I hear this. It reminds me. It just it sounds like temp, this battle. It sounds like a battle record. Yeah, oh yeah. It's mean. Back in the day, yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> no, just mean. It's a mean sound. It is. Record. It's cosmic. Check that out. It's definitely club. Yeah, sure it's clubby. Definitely mm-hmm. club. Records you just fall into too. I see, yeah. Again, no vocals. <laughs> right, right, right. That's you know, what I'm saying. No, 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 I don't need the vocals. You know what I'm saying? I mean, you don't need them. Not on this one. Not on this one. No. I mean, I got some beautiful vocal records that I love, but I have my time favorite. and a place. Man. I got my favorite, but yeah, I mean, I heard I you play this. some dope stuff, dude. What yeah. up, some of my instrumentals? I, mean, I remember that picnic we did because you don't play out that much. That, that Foster Avenue. Yeah, yeah I, he's killing I, 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 yeah, I killed, I, Since then, what happened? You know, I just cool. I fell back. You know, but you know, I still got it. You, you, you know, you come down here. You know what I got. But, yeah. I just enjoy listening, and, and, you know, sometimes more than I enjoy playing. It's not that I can't play, because I can't. But I, I enjoy listening, I enjoy collecting, you know. Likewise, yeah. Yeah, yeah. Don't get it twisted now, you know. But I like this song. It's, this is a tune right here. That's how it is. Like when you really like music, either you plan or listen. If you listen to stuff you really like, then it's just as entertaining as you getting a rush off of playing in the sense too, man. You know? It's like even when I was gone or whatever, it's like anybody I really liked to hear, if they were out there playing, I was there to listen, you know? Yeah, so, yeah, yeah. no This is a catchy, clubby cut. CCC. C-cubed. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> hey, 
my that's my engineering background. <laughs> hey, 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 you know what though? Hey, that's I, I square feel, with CQ. I, I feel you. <laughs> I feel you. But um yeah. Like Henny's records in like big clubs, man. They just take you. I'm saying, on a banging ass system. Yeah. Motherfuckers be X'd out, doped out, drugged out, cracked out, coked out, all that shit. I've never seen that in my I've seen it. Oh, man. That must have been in the 80s. Oh, shit. Well, Well, not in the uh, the late 90s, early 2000s. Well, let's see. Yeah. In the 90s. I've never seen that. I've seen it. You saying it too? You just playing, playing like you did. But I, I mean, never hey, smoked a joint. No, me. <laughs> do it, do it. I like this though, man. And it's like eight volumes of this, and I don't, it's that thing is what I like about all these records. Each one is totally different. Each track is totally different. This guy's totally creative, like totally on the real for real, like totally creative. Like he go anywhere, from literally any spectrum of sound. Seriously, see, see. yeah, man, yeah. Like I'm telling, yeah, yeah, yeah. You know, depends on what you want to put it into. You know, so this is just the one I play for now, but. Man, it's dark. It's all kind of stuff, man. Oh, yeah. Just, yeah, dude. For real. Yeah. This next cut I'm about to play for you guys is Los Charlie's Orchestra. The name of the cut is called Sunshine. Check it out. Like how it's starting out. Yeah, you know what? It's feel good. Sunshine. It's taking me back to like the late 70s, early 80s type of groove. I feel strange in there. You know what, I think they, uh, I might be mistaken, y'all, but I think this is a rerun, a, I don't, not a repress, but a rerun of it. I might be wrong, so don't quote me on that, but, but, uh, there's instrumental on the flip, too, y'all. For this the instrumental is yeah. on the other side. Equally as good. Yeah, you know? These vocals are sound good. I mean, I, 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 I do, vocals, don't get me yeah. wrong, I, I do like vocals. Yeah, I, know, I like all vocals. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Like when it fits, you know, it's good, man. You know, so. See, this even got a horn sound and strings and all of it. I like the label too, man. Yeah, it looks like, it looks like a Shot Town label. But this is not like, <laughs> like a Shot Town sky. Don't, don't it look like this? Where is that? Uh, this uh, you gotta wait for it to finish rolling. Yeah. It's a banger, though. A nice twist out of a 10 inch. Yeah, I'm right. leaving it. It's in it. It's a jam. Fire, dude. You like it? You like it? You like it, dealer? Good. Yeah, man. <laughs> <laughs> I told you. I like this, so, man. So 
on it, y'all. Anyway, y'all, this is where we are. This is uh, Record Review, y'all. This is what we're going to be doing. We're going to be highlighting new stuff that's coming out or soon to be released with a few throwbacks, you know. Oh, yeah. We got one for you, man. We got, a, we got a throwback, right? Absolutely. Yeah, yeah. yeah. We, we're gonna have, we got a surprise for you all, all right? We know you're going to enjoy it. We know you're going to enjoy it. Stay tuned, be patient, listen up. Most Charlie's Orchestra, Sunshine. The Sunshine Skillet. It's reckless. Sunshine. This is reckless right here, man. It's reckless. I call that a snapper. That's a snapper. That's uh, a uh, red like snapper. A snapper. <laughs> snapper. <laughs> yeah, it's rocking. Yeah, I don't know. What we? How many we play? About three. Got to let our sponsors get in here, huh? Yeah, we, we're about to put them in there. We got yeah. we got quite a few. That we, yeah, man. We're gonna, we gonna mention. All right, all right, y'all. We got to let our people do a little talking. Our sponsors. We'll be right back. Peace, peace. What up, y'all? This is Trent from the Soul and the Hole DJ crew out of Chicago. Order your Soul and the Hole merchandise now. We have t-shirts, hats, and more. We have all sizes from infant to 6X. You can find us on Facebook and Instagram on the Soul and the Hole merchandise. Or you can reach us at 773-744-7311. We have t-shirts, hats, and more. We have all sizes from infant to 6X. You can find us on Facebook and Instagram on the Soul and the Hole merchandise. Or you can reach us at 773-744-7311. Call or text. Peace. For information on advertising or having your music considered for an upcoming episode, email us at chicagorecordreview at yahoo.com. Okay, y'all. We uh, This is a band called Flash. This is a sick one. This is uh, released through Rush Hour Records in Amsterdam. Fam, good people. And Tom. Peace, brother. Peace, peace, peace. Uh, behind, the, behind this production is Ron Trent. Chicago oh, native, sure. yeah man, and um, there's also a release before this one is equally as good. Rush Hour's putting out a lot of phenomenal stuff, new and old. You know, reissues and new product. This is a new uh, experiment, a new uh, project. Right, and right. it's a band called Flash, man. Yeah. Okay. All right. So this is one I've been rocking, and a lot of friends been rocking. Got up with this uh, friend of mine, Boogie Monsters, Tim Zawana, played it for me first. Okay. The first release. This is the second. This is you telling me about it. Yeah. We're going to put some of this stuff on the show, too. Y'all enjoy. Band right. Call Flash. This is uh this has been uh, the the uh, first release uh was uh last year or maybe even before that. No, actually it's longer than that actually. This record actually the first one. 
This one was in the last year, though. But uh, okay, and it's it's a four tracker, and uh, so versatile, you know. It says four tracks? Yeah. Four tracks? Okay. Yeah. Okay. This one's called Phantom. Phantom? Yeah. Phantom. Yeah. Service. 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 Yeah, I don't know. Ted's original DJ name was DJ Service. Until they took it. Before he just got worn out. <laughs> <laughs> hey, my name got prostituted. <laughs> Everybody started using the name Service. Didn't even know what it meant. That meant I was the original DJ Service. Yeah. Uh, for the record, I'm the creator of Party Time. So. Party Time. Right. Party Time is starting to go viral too. Party Time. And hey, and we the we the we the originators of Skillet. Skillet and Dillet. Yeah, Skillet, Dillet. That's <laughs> us. They don't. They don't even know what it means. But some people trying to use it. <laughs> hey, this is viral now. Right. Bro. If you're not skillet, don't use the word. If you're not skillet, you're not dealer. You, uh, you, you're, you're not, you're not deal it, and you can't feel it, and you will get kill it. So don't try to feel it. You did with us. Hey, hey, I'm telling you. Y'all listening to a band called Flash now. Service. It's the record review. This is this is running right here. African basement, you all. Listen up. Sound I like exactly what I'm talking about, man. This is what I want. Dilla Dilla, boom, the big stop. They, pan, they doing a good job of panning the instruments, man. So we can't really say much about it, uh, y'all. It's, it's a one sided record, it's called African Basement, not with a C, but with a K. And, uh, yeah, because they, yeah. they, don't, they don't give us much knowledge yeah. on it. They don't give us that much knowledge. It's like a mystery record. Yeah, yeah. But, uh, I mean, but it's big, you know. Well, we put, it, we put as much info up there as we can. Yeah, we can I mean, that's all out, we know. But, I mean, it, you, know. you know, we'd be able to put it out there. Maybe, you know, once we find out, we put it out there at you all. This one, is, if this one ain't new. Is, is it new? This is what two? Is it two? I think this is 2015. 2000, yeah, 2015, y'all. Yeah. So this isn't new, y'all. This is uh, this is a little bit of a throwback in a sense. So. Yeah, we we'll, we'll yeah. put it out there to you all. Yeah, man. Maybe on a march. We ready for beers? <laughs> Damn it! I got mine. First beer. Cheers. I'm chilling, man. First show, y'all. Right on. Man, the motherfucking uh, the video of me make my head look big, big motherfucker. Like a caricature. <laughs> What's the motherfucker name on the underdog commercial? That's how my hair look. The, the mumbler. Who's on? <laughs> <Crap. laughs> hey, the record review, y'all. That's what Glad you all are listening. Tune in. We'll be back at you. Good as we have fun. This is our uh, number one. Thank you guys for tuning in. You listen to the African Basement? Your man's Margaret Say, your man's Tetra Map. Love y'all. Indeed. Thanks for listening.
And this stereo is sick. Like the way they pan these instruments. I keep talking about that. Really we can't know. talk about much. The label is tight. The label looks 3D, like you said. Let's so say this shit. Look. Hey, man. Hey. After, well, fuck them. You know, <laughs> once we done playing this, we done. But if they can see this label, it looks 3D. It's 3D. You know, it's one of those things where you got to go to 7-Eleven, get some glasses, and right, read it. Right, Remember this, remember <laughs> old, old, this old Sanguli movie? Yeah, <laughs> remember this? Dude, oh, I thought man. 3D glasses were the shit. You know I mean? They still make, you know, I went to, I forgot what I was there. I was in uh, Universal Studio, and I saw Alfred Hitchcock the Birds. And then they gave you the real 3D glasses. What? Like you thought? Yeah, yeah. <laughs> the motherfucker like, like, was like, 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 your eyeball. They look like prescription glasses. <laughs> hey, they, hey, hey, hey. They look like these motherfuckers. Where my glasses at, man? Put them there over there. Yeah, they, yeah, they look real, real, man. Yeah. They look real. Any motherfuckers, man? The record review, you They look like the record review. Let's <laughs> <laughs> chill out. We like the hill, man. You know what this love, man. I love this brother. This is my brother right here. Real yeah. talk. It's my brother do. right here. Deal with it. Jam. I like that. Damn, I'm talking about with my glasses. I got them on. The record hey, review. The record hey, review. The record review. The record review. What the fuck? We silly. For information on advertising or having your music considered for an upcoming episode, email us at chicagorecordreview at yahoo.com.